Ducks are swimming in the water All around, 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 around All the ducks are swimming in the water Well that's threatened in my last short video I've got another box of goodies to review Oh yeah You can never have enough unpainted figures Any good wargamer will tell you that We all have to have a substantial lead pile to keep us going and there's nothing like the lure of bright shiny figures to put a smile on a gamer's face. Anyway recently we've had the big salute show in London and lots of companies release new figures for the salute show. Empress Miniatures had added to their Spanish Civil War range and as I'm currently on a Spanish Civil War kick I had to order them. So what we have in the box fresh from the lovely Empress Miniatures is the dismounted Spanish Civil War cavalry figures. I've got all the guys on the horses already. I had them when they were the Anglian miniatures. I actually had them commissioned by Paul Hicks. And the lovely Empress folks have now gone and done dismounted versions of them. So, I just had to get them. So here we are. A quick review of the new Empress miniatures Spanish Civil War dismounted cavalry. Apologies in advance if there's lots of gushing sentiment. That's just the way I am. Anyway, over to the desk. Let's have a look at these figures. Okay, right, let's tip Matt so we've got. There we go. One, two, three, four, five packs in this release. Two of the packs contain horses. Uh, the other three packs are the dismounted figures. Okay, all sculpted once again by the godlike genius talent that is Mr. Paul Hicks. And once again, he's done a bloody marvellous job on them. So anyway, let's have a look at them one at a time and we'll start off with the dismounted packs I think and the first one we'll look at, this one here, is the command group. Tip them out, one, two, three, four figures. Let's see if we can get a bit closer and have a look at them. Here we go, we'll start off with standard bearer. There he is, clutching his, probably an Astra pistol in his hand, it's a standard sort of small arm for the Spanish. Uh, open hand in the other hand for you to put a standard pole in. Then of course, if you wanted to, you could bend the arm down a little bit, you really try, and you could use him as another horse holder on foot. Absolutely marvelous figure again. Face full of character. Nasty loads of detail on there. Next up, just got another dismounted uh, cavalry figure. Arm of the carbine version of the Mauser by the look of this. It's a bit bent, let's straighten it out for you. Oh, once again, he's chock full of detail. Look at that, he's even got the strap on the rifle put on there, which is really quite nice. In the uh, Spanish steel helmet. And then we have another dismounted figure. This one appears to be wearing glasses or sunglasses that's often a feature of the Spanish Civil War you do see quite a few of them once again look at that rifle absolutely brilliant and with the sling cast up as well blanket roll and a single cartridge pouch and his granadero trousers are tucked into his leather boots lovely figure and last but not least in this pack we've got oh where's he gone there he is now the officer cheering these guys on. Lovely. Full of character and really nicely animated as well. Once again he's got a standard pistol in his hand. It's his holster over that side there. Full dress uniform. Lovely figure. So there we go. That's the command pack for you. Let's move on to the next one. And here we go, this one 
and it's got the support weapons in. And there we go, four figures once again. And there we go, and a good selection of figures in this one too. Let's have a close look at this one. There we go, first one of the dismounted guys from this pack. He's just an ordinary cavalry trooper advancing cautiously, sort of. Well, half crouched over as he goes forwards. Once again, he's got that uh, Mauser carbine, and with all the lovely detail. Since Gorillo cap with a tassel on the front, and you're painting these guys up. Bear in mind that uh, all the piping and tassels are light blue. The cavalry's actual uh, distinctive markings are light blue and not red. And there he is, and all these blanket roll wrapped around him. There we go. See, we've got the spurs and things on his boots. Next guy. Once again, it's another rifleman getting ready to load his carbine by the look of that. Pull the bolt back on and put the next round into the chamber. Once again, a really lovely little figure. As you can see, there's no flash on these. I do believe that Empress still use uh, Griffin to do all their moulding and it's the mark of a good caster. There's no crap on these. Some of those are used to figures and uh, you know, I hate to moan about Perry miniatures, but your casting is bloody awful. These guys, a quick once over with a knife or a small file and any small mould lines that are on them are gone. They really, really are beautifully cast figures. There we go. There he is. Okay, on to the next guy. Love this one. Look at that. Tommy gun. Yeah, okay. There are going to be any number of people that are going to turn around and say they didn't have Tommy guns in Spain. They had no end of stuff in Spain. They bought whatever they could get their hands on. Some of the stuff they were sold by some of the arms dealers is absolutely incredible. Out of date, rubbish weaponry. Anything they could get their hands on, they would buy. And this thing, Thompson submachine gun, was a common weapon in lots of the armed forces at the time. They were very easy to pick up. If mobsters in America could have them, then anybody could probably get their hands on them. And it is just such a lovely weapon. Look at that, in this drum magazine. Now he is, firing away with it. Another fantastic figure. I really like that one. It's really great. And for a bit of light support, here we go. Oh, a very bent. <laughs> oh dear. Carefully straighten that up. That is a Danish Mazden LMG. And they did have these. Um, they bought a load of them before the war started. They had this and the Hotchkiss. So they're more than likely to see cavalry units cavering the cat. Spit it out, Nige. Carrying this weapon because it's a lot more easy to sort of handle than the Hotchkiss. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. He's got his bipod mount as well, so you can stick that on the end if you want to. Just what you need. Nice bit of light support. And there we go. Brief, beautifully made little model of the weapon and a really, really nice figure to go with it as well. Wonderful stuff. So there you have it. There's the support pack with its LMG. Let's go on to the next one. And the last of the dismounted packs This is another four dismounted troopers. Once again, a nice selection of poses. With these three dismounted packs, it is really, really good because it gives you enough here, along with one of the other packs that we'll go on to in a moment, to actually have a dismounted section. And you can have a bit of variety as well. There's a good selection of dismounted guys in here, equipped with the carbines. You've also got the support weaponry too and the command. I think all in all there's, what? 12 different figures there and um, most sort of rules give you sort of 10 figures in a unit or in the rules that I'm using there's eight figures in a cavalry unit so absolutely brilliant. So let's have a close up look at these boys here. And we start with this chap here. Here he is again. 
Just another variation on dismounted cabbyman advancing. Once again, he's got that lovely Mauser rifle. Lovely clean casting. Next up, there we go. We've got a kneeling figure firing his carbine. I mean, he can't gush enough about these figures. Yes, I know it's a terrible thing to do, but Paul Hicks is really at his pinnacle now. I mean, some of the stuff he turns out is absolutely amazing and they're a real joy to paint as well. I was going to do a, a painting article using the um, Fox Grenadiers that he had, but I had all sorts of problems with this. I'm going to use these to do a painting uh, video to show you how to paint figures because I really like these, plus it's a period I like as well, so it's probably been a lot easier for me to do it. So we'll use some of these cavalry figures to do a, a how I paint figures video. And there we go, here's another one, advancing cautiously. He's got his old Spanish steel hat on, his Mauser rifle. Look at that. lovely figure and last but not least there's another guy moving forwards again there we go Oop, pop in there good variety of poses nice clean figures they're gonna paint up really well so there we go it's the last of the uh, dismounted figures so let's have a look at the other two packs got the horses in and we'll start off with oh let's do this one here now they've already got the cavalry figures in the range this is just another pack just to finish them off and it basically contains the guy with the Mazden LMG and the guy with the Thompson SMG LMG for light machine gun, SMG for submachine gun, for those people who don't understand the abbreviations, I thought I'd better just say that. And a couple of really nice horses as well. And the small little cavalry sword and bag attachment you can attach to the horse if you want to. So let's have a close up look at these. Oh, put them in place. There we go. Here we go. Let's have a look at this one first. And it's the guy with the Thompson. There we go. Really nicely cast little Thompson. Oh, we'll need a little bit of a clean up. But it's not too bad. And there we go. The really good thing about these figures is they've matched the dismounted ones to the mounted ones. So the dismounted figure He's got the Gorilla cap on, the same as the Mountie guy has. It's a really neat idea. And you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if all the dismounts didn't match the mounted figures and all the other packs as well. I'm going to go back and have a look at that one just to see, because I think they probably do. There we go. Down his legs, he's got his uh, stirrups on. And sort of strapping, disappearing up underneath the saddle and his boots with the spurs and here's the other guy and this is the figure that had the, the Mazden LMG and this model he's got it strapped across his back which is really quite nice you can see there it's got the the bipod folded down on it as well it's a really neat little figure There we go. I like the Thompson guy. He matches his dismounted counterpart as well. He's got the Spanish style helmet on. Really good. I like that. I think that's a very, very good touch to do that, to match them up. And you've got the two little Get in so you can actually see it because it's a really tiny little thing. Mm. 
There we go. <laughs> that took a bit of doing, didn't it? That's the actual sword and bag you can attach to the horse as well. And the mounts themselves. You get all the the reins and all the trappings on that they should have. And they're nicely posed horses, nice sturdy horses as well. They're sort of attached to the bases with the uh, bits that look like grass and that, and that's going to help a great deal with stop. I've seen horses that are sort of snap off down lower on the ankles, which really isn't good. And look at that, the casting is so good, all the reins underneath are hollowed out. There's no big lump of metal in between there. Yeah, they're going to need a little bit of cleaning up, but that's really good like that and there's two of those they're very similar slightly different poses and the figures pop on the back of them quite nicely and there we go so there we go that's that mounted pack out to store a pop a figure on so you can see. There we go. They actually go on the horses quite nicely. There we go. Okay, so that's that back out of the way. Oh, just off the edge there. And next up we have dismounts on the horse holder and there we go so there's one guy mounted as you can see his hands he's got the reins and all the reins of the other horses sort of come through so he's got one horse that he will go on and the other three horses We'll sort of gather around with him holding onto the reins. So while the rest of his uh, section is dismounted and doing their bit, he's standing there keeping hold of the horses. So let's have a close up look at this one as well. Okay, let's start off with the horse holder. And here he is. As you can see, he's got a fistful of reins here. And the other horse reins sort of feed off of that one. He's got his mouth of carbine slung across his back. And there we go. And Gorilla cap on uh, resplendent with his big moustache as well. Okay, I bought two of these packs, and uh, the other one of these guys, he's going to get a head transplant because he's going to go with my militia unit. And I can get away with that, I think, because he's really in shirt sleeves, so I could paint him up like in the ubiquitous mono if I wanted to, or I could just paint him in shirt and trousers. But um, I'll probably show you that one as I do it as well. It would be quite nice to sort of look at that one, the head swap, see what he looks like. Okay, so pop him to one side. You've also got the four horses. Three of them are like this. They've actually got the reins coming out, so they will actually go into his hand, and they've got the, the picket rope on them as well for where well, they would picket the horses out, chain to the ground if they wanted to. Really nice horse. And what you can do with these dismount horses you also get a tiny little sprue with hanging stirrups on. A tiny hole in the side of that horse. You're probably going to have to drill it and do it yourself, but it shouldn't be too difficult to do. Just down there on that strapping. Oh, and there we go. They got their stirrups dangling down, which I think is really neat. And like I said, there's one, two, three of those dismounts. And you've got the one standing horse that the actual horse holder goes on. There we go. And just to add to it, there's the four. Oh, 
So we'll four little swords and bags to put onto the horses as well. It's a really neat little set and it just adds that finishing touch to that dismounted unit. So you've got your dismounted guys going forwards and then you've got the guys sitting back hanging onto their horses. You could buy a couple of them if you wanted and have all eight of your cavalry section dismounts depicted, but just one stand of these would be enough to sort of show people that they're dismounted. Lovely little set. And there he is. Top view of the man himself sitting on his horse with the old uh, dismounted group behind him. And there he is. Okay, and that's it. That's a look at those packs. Okay, so there we go. Empress Miniatures Dismounted Spanish Civil War Cavalry. Great box full of lovely figures. Now, pricing. Okay, the um, dismounted four figure packs, they come in at uh, seven pounds each. I nearly forgot then. <laughs> oh, you looked on the computer just now, for God's sake. Getting old, you see. Seven pounds for four, and the Cavalry two man pack with the LMG and the SMG, that comes in at eight pounds 50 for the set. And the dismounted uh, Cavalry man with the four horses, four horses comes in at uh, nine pounds 50. You can buy the three packs of foot figures in a deal for 18 pounds, which is how I got mine. Then just add the other two packs on top. They are really, really good figures. I mean, I know I say it a lot about any of the sort of stuff that Empress does, but they do go for sort of quality figures. You pay your money and you take your choice. I am more than happy to pay their prices for the quality of the figures that I get and they make them a whole lot easier to clean up and to paint. And like I promised in the review video, I am gonna take a couple of these and do a painting video with them because I quite enjoy painting the figures. I really struggled with the Volksgrenadier figures because it's not a period that I really sort of do very much, World War II, late war, and they're all sort of wrapped up and it's hard to see their faces and things like that. Still lovely figures, I still will paint them, but I won't do a video with them. I'm gonna use these guys instead because you can see the faces a lot easier and you get more idea what I'm trying to do with them then. Plus the fact they're a lot simpler to paint because there's no complicated camouflage patterns on them. So there we go, that's it from me. I'll stick a link in the video so you can go to the Empress website and purchase the packs yourselves. And if you wanna get some more Spanish Civil War stuff, have a look at the range because it really is a very comprehensive range. That's it for now, back again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.